the Fox 29 studios. This is Good Day Philadelphia. This is one of uh, the big gems in our area, the Please Touch Museum. It's so much fun. I went to the old location as a kid. My kids go there now. 40 years it's been a part of our community. So we're going to look back at some of the best toys. What were your favorite toys as a kid? Remember Simon? I do remember Simon. I was nice on Simon. My skills were untouched. There's a wonderful event that's happening at the Elmont Park this weekend, the Please Touch Museum. Can you believe it has been around for 40 years? So they're throwing a party featuring hundreds of guests and music and dance and the old toys from each decade over the past 40 years. Now here with some of those toys and to talk about the Please Touch Museum, Patricia Wellenbach, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Please Touch Museum. Good morning. Good morning. And I've got gloves on. I know, you got... can't touch because this is part I of our position. collection. Oh, very Very nice. important uh, material here. So we have to be careful when touching. So I love Simon. I just bought it. They still sell it today, but this is the old school one. Yes, this is from the 1970s. It's uh, kind of early electronic. Uh, based on an Atari uh, program, and uh, over the years they've uh, juiced it up a little bit, so it got a little more exciting. The great thing about this was it really got families coming together and playing board games again and stuff, and it has, you know, continues to be around today. I remember this. This was back when games were actually kind of active. Like, you yes. sit there and you're, you're going back and forth, and Correct. it got really competitive back in Correct. the day. So That's this is stuff. kind of like an early iPad game, if you think about it that way. But the family sat around the table and did it together. Nice. This inspired we, me to go break out mine then. and do that one again. Get some pizza and break it out. I like that so many of these are classics, that they okay. still are making these movies, that they're still doing, um, you know, putting these toys out, are Ninja Turtle dudes. Yes, Ninja Turtle dudes. Tell me a household with little kids that don't have uh, Ninja Turtle pajamas, even today, <laughs> and Ninja Turtle um, Halloween costumes. Ninja Turtles are fascinating. They were supposed to spoof the action hero comic book figures, right. and the guys that created it uh, were art history majors, hence the names Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, Donatella. And it's inspired a generation of kids who just fell in love with them and um, put new language in the lexicon like cowabunga. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I bet you the kids who come in and see all this and see the Ninja Turtles, Elmo's obviously still around, they come in, they had no idea how far back the stuff goes. Right, so Elmo is our throwback to the 90s. Um, and Elmo was a slow start. He uh, was featured uh, with Al Roker on the Today Show, and he didn't quite move along too much. But then he got a little celeb cred when he was on the Rosie O'Donnell show and things like that. And he ended up being um, very famous for the time that he had a million-dollar diamond necklace on in Cartier in that window. And the Elmo great thing up. about um, Elmo is that it has stood the test of time. All kids love him and also probably launched the hot toy of the season um, as the holiday seasons uh, come around. I thought my kids played with all of them. I do want to show you one of the pictures of uh, my children when we were at the Please Touch Museum having so much fun. This was a fourth birthday party for Quinn, but I'm actually with my little dude, Macklin. And I just love that you can get in and play in all of the different things and shop the supermarket and climb in the bus, you know, and I think the car stuff for my kids is great. And the water play, the get water wet. Play. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fabulous. And it really is about kids learning as they play. Um, and learning all sorts of things, intellectually, socially, emotionally. They learn how to navigate their way around challenges and uh, how to self-correct, and it's a, it's a very cool place. I shudder to admit it, but I have, in fact, made a cake back in the day in an Easy Bake Oven. With a light bulb. Yeah, my baking yeah. skills were solid back then. <laughs> They've gone downhill since then, but then I, I had skills. Okay, so you get an A for effort because originally this was an aqua color because it was the 1960s and it was really right. about appealing to little girls. Um, but then as the world evolved and toys evolved, it it's became me. gender neutral. Right, that's the rugged bill version. Yes, right. the rugged bill I'm version. With this. And we don't right. use a light bulb anymore to bake, just so you know. Really? Yeah. Imagine. But if Things people want to come out for the event today, I want to get them the information on here's the hours for it. Uh, big party is going to be, you can come all weekend, but the big party is tomorrow, 11 to 5, and here's the big headline. There's a deal. 40% off your admission. 40% off for 40 years of fabulous, magical moments for kids as they learned uh, learn through things to play. Always worth the cost of thank admission. You. Of course, go when you get a break and celebrate. And thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting us. I want to play. What can we play? Hi, Elmo. You can, Elmo, if you tickle him, he doesn't tickle.